Hello everybody, welcome back to the Helvetic Speedrunners Marathon Online number one. And uh, it's the second to last run of the marathon by uh, two lovely people you might or might not have just heard like five minutes ago. Who knows? Uh, yeah, this is also the shortest run of the entire marathon with a solid estimate of seven minutes. And it's going to be Lara Croft and the Temple of Osiris by my two good friends Zevin Eraser7 and uh, Katarev. So uh, take it away, guys. Well, we don't know yet if it will be the shortest run, but we sure will try. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I just want to point out that this run is done by the two world record holders since no. seven, eight, no, nine hours. <laughs> because we got one yeah. record earlier today, first try. Things happen. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this is Lara Croft and Temple of Osiris. Um, it's one of the spin-off games of the Tomb Raider series, obviously. Um, it's actually the second co-op game, so you can play this with up to four players. The first one you could only play with up to two players. Um, but we will only be two players. Doesn't really change anything if you have more than that. Um, so yeah, I'm the host. I will play as Isis, and um, Erase will play as Lara. So one player always has to play as Lara. I wonder why that is. And if you have two players, the other player has to either play as Isis or as Horus, so one of the Egyptian deities. And then if you have more players than that, the other ones can choose. And I choose Isis because she's better. Yeah, is what I say. But it doesn't really matter. So whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So timer starts as soon as the first cutscene is skipped. And uh, yeah, cover your ears. Yeah. Also, I just want to point out that. Lara is the most important character, so obviously my role in this speedrun will be the most important one. <laughs> okay, so. uh, okay, I'll just give you the countdown. Three, two, one, and go. Okay, so here uh, we are running. So the idea is that Isis will have the, this uh, beam, which can uh, destroy that kind of sphere thing, and uh, open doors and make us progress through the level. Uh, if you play alone, uh, Lara has it. Also, I lost. Uh, Lara has it, and yeah. There, I blew myself up to gain some height, and then I use my shield. Here, we will um, take. No, not this again. Well, first, Erased will take an interesting dive, and now I will hopefully also take that journey. Don't question this. It's all good. So, since yes. Eraser died, the camera is now free. Otherwise, it would always have to readjust and try to have both players on the same frame, but since he's dead, that is not the case, and I can freely roam in this very intended uh, area. Also, this makes sense, don't worry about it. And uh, yeah, I don't see what Eraser is doing, but I'm sure it's it's very, very good. All right, so I'm coming up to the end of the skip, but there are a few death barriers here that I hopefully don't hit. Good, so that was, nice. uh, that's good. Pretty good. Yeah, first try is really good. Oh, so here I will actually try to go, good. yes. Uh, I didn't, uh, just, there we go. Okay, sorry. So, no, no problem. So the goal was for me to die and, uh, uh, to for Caddy to die and for me to not to die. <laughs> but you yes, know. You can, you can tell I'm less experienced at dying in this game because I don't know why. So yeah, here, um, we get a tutorial about equipping stuff, but we don't care. And here I will try to skip a cutscene. Good. Uh, can you respond? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I press the uh, okay. circle instead of X. Okay. <laughs> so one thing Lara has is this grappling hook. Um, that's unique to her character, or Carter, which is the other adventurer. And that allows us to, like, that's an intended mechanic, that the other guy can walk on the um, grappling hook. And now we get chased by this cat. And it is a cat, don't worry about it. And now we have to escape. Yes, we have to escape. Like, that's really important, you know, like we are both doing our best right now. Yes, this is a co-op run after all. So we're in this together. And we really have to hurry here. Yes, indeed. You're doing really well. Same, well, actually, like, uh, I'm really impressed by uh, how you are uh, avoiding the traps and all. Yeah, your microphone sounds weird, like you're not doing what you're usually doing. It's really oh. weird, but I, maybe it's just my connection. Anyways, so we're at the end of this level. 
And thanks and to me, we can finish the level. Exactly, because the game only checks if one person is up there at least, and if the other one is dead, that counts as us finishing the level, and that was the tutorial. And since the developers were really nice, they put the final boss area just after the tutorial level, but they sealed it off. So in solo, you would have to unlock that uh, final boss area. Okay. In solo. So, up. Oh, come on. Okay. Uh, 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 fell down. Okay, okay. No problem. Don't worry about this. This all makes sense. Yeah, so basically, the goal is to go there, brew yourself up, and not <laughs> hit the trigger because it despawn. Come on. <laughs> like, since when? Uh -oh. uh -oh. This on. is fine. No, like, I, I know that in this position, like, there is no way I can get it. Oh, okay. Just get it. Like, yeah, like that. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, as you can see with two players, you can clip into like the part behind the door and hit this trigger. Now we're in the lobby and now we just need to yes. clip inside the final boss area. Yes. And for that, I will activate my shield while Eraser is doing swan dives against this part. And hopefully at some point it will clip him through this yes. the collision. We hope it will actually happen. Game. Thank there you. There we go. Oh, and then I have to draw my weapon and it's a trigger here. Okay, nice. Okay. I think I still equipped Spitfire, whatever. So this is the final boss. Um, again, it is all centered around these or orbs. <laughs> that is also the wrong weapon. There we go. Uh, Just okay. use all of them. One part of the work. Okay, I did not expect that, honestly. <laughs> well, neither did I, clearly. Um, so, so yeah. yeah, like the goal is for Kadi to destroy the, the sphere and for me to light them with my torch. But... Uh, we have uh, a little optimization that we can do if uh, enemies are nice and lines up together because it's something that we found uh, not too long ago. Doesn't work, no. Okay, nice. So up from that point, the goal is to survive and hit uh, Anubis. So this guy has to go to ZHP, he has three phases, so you can get ready on time. Uh, did you get Two hit? more phases. Yes. I did get hit, yes. Okay, so I have True. to hit them. Yeah. No problem. Okay. Good. So yeah, he is mean, but you know, we don't care. So the goal is for Kadi to not get hit, so that he can light them as soon as he destroy them. Yeah. With that beam. Should be able to do that now. Yes, if I can do this properly. Okay, he exploded me. Okay, get ready on time. Yeah, get ready on time. Once he has zero HP, so just about now. No. It should be a five minute something, right? I don't know. I don't see the three. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> what? Five fifty. Nice. nice. Not even a minute slower than wreck. <sighs> so yeah, that was uh, Temple of Osiris co-op. Yes. So yeah, that game is actually. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I so, always forget about that. Same. Sorry, hope your ears are still intact. Yes. <laughs> Ours are not. <laughs> so yeah, like, this game is actually really fun to do in co-op, honestly. Uh, but uh, online, it kind of it's kind of bad because there is a lot of things that aren't the same and we have to yes. invite each other to Steam every time and skip uh, behaving in a different way also. Yeah, like, that's really unfortunate. But as you, you can see, like... Uh, yeah. Notice that on Eraser's screen I was teleporting like crazy. Like that's not what actually was happening on my screen. It's just the netcode that really is not all that great. Exactly. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. I actually died as well. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, every time like at the end of uh, of a run, like I kill uh, Isis because I'm <laughs> obviously like the superior character. Like as you could see, without me, there would be no run. Like I did everything. I finished the tutorial and I killed the final boss. Yeah. Yes, I and definitely will have to rewatch that run. So I also yeah, and game crashed. <laughs> <laughs> and game crashed. Good. So we saw everything that this game has to offer. Good. Yes, exactly. So yeah, that game and can yes, really. Before you asking, the game can crash at any point during the run. So. Yes. So, Always yeah. good when that happens. But yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, so as you can see, you can do a lot of things during your run, like uh, change your clothes and stuff like that. <laughs> Read manga. I'm not aware of that. I don't. Why? What? No, I can't do that. What? Yes, uh, it's Green. because you're not good enough. Ah, that's it. Yeah, okay. Yes, I'll when you will be as good as me, you will be able to do it. Yes, okay. 
but yeah, that's that. Uh, more Lara Croft soon. Yeah, this is the point where you normally like shout out Discord and where people can find the speedrun because this is obviously a very serious speed gaming here. Oh, it yeah. is. Uh, shout and out to luck. Toxic for being a good mod and verifying our yeah. run in like 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, luckily this game it has like the same obviously like speedrunning community as the one you will see next. So I can do that at the end of that run. So we can save even more time now. Great. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thanks for the run. Everybody stay tuned for the last marathon of the run. Um, <coughs> sad emoji in chat. And uh, yeah, we'll be right back in just a second. So don't go anywhere.